migrants are getting agitated. The Border Patrol can't keep up with, with feeding. Um, during lunchtime, the facilities, the quality of life, the standard of living is all being stretched beyond its capabilities. Breaking news tonight out of Texas, where a humanitarian crisis at the southern border is growing worse by the hour. As thousands of mostly Haitian migrants wait to be processed by immigration authorities in the United States, an official at the White House now says the administration is planning on putting the crowds on flights back to Haiti starting Sunday. We are joined by CBS 4's Joel Waldman live in Little Haiti tonight. And Joel, as if the situation isn't difficult enough, it sounds like many of these migrants are about to receive some more bad news. Lauren and Carly, good evening to both of you. As you mentioned, the AP reporting tonight that U.S. officials are now saying they're going to send a, quote, massive number of migrants back to Haiti on airplanes beginning this Sunday, a brutal blow to those looking for asylum on the southern border. A mother's devotion strongest during the most difficult times. This young woman cradling her son in her left arm while carrying her life's belongings in a bag over her shoulder, all while shielding them both from the oppressive sun as she wades through the Rio Grande. So all of these people just crossed? Yep. I mean, this is hundreds of people. Oh, it's not hundreds, it's thousands. From high above, a clear look at a humanitarian low. This crisis unfolding along the U.S. southern border. This is the far exceeds anything we've ever seen down here. An estimated 12,000 migrants, mostly Haitian, calling this area beneath the Del Rio International Bridge home for now. Del Rio, Texas's Democratic mayor admitting federal authorities are overwhelmed. Border Patrol is unfortunately strained to its limit. Some migrants sleeping in tents, others on the dirt, using porta potties and bathing in the river. The lucky ones bust to this refugee center where they're asked if they're vaccinated against COVID, roughly half raising their hand yes. The concern is the spread of, of COVID and, uh, and how that affects um, our, our country. The U.S. is the most powerful nation in the world. They, 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 they have an obligation uh, to uh, create a system to get these people here, to get them the need that, uh, that, they, that they, they are seeking, and, and then afford them the basic rights of due process. Marlene Bastien, the executive director of the Miami-based Family Action Network movement, tells CBS4 these Haitian migrants fled their tiny island nation after the 2010 earthquake. Many going to Central and South America looking for work. The most recent earthquake, presidential assassination, and gang violence making life in Haiti untenable, triggering all of this. It's cruel and inhumane uh, for the Biden administration to be deporting refugees to Haiti right now. Now, Congresswoman Frederica Wilson says she and her constituents are very concerned and hope that the Biden administration will act swiftly to help migrants from the Caribbean and Latin and Central America who've risked everything, including their lives, to reach our border, something that now appears less and less likely to happen. Reporting live from Little Haiti, Joel Waldman, CBS 4 News.